It has been more than six months since we took delivery of our 2017 Jaguar F-Pace. As of this week, the odometer ticked just over 10,000 kilometers and it's now time to explore our ownership experience further. For the record, we bought a 2017 Jaguar F-Pace R Sport 2.0 liter diesel. You can find all the specification of our car from our first review back in November. In the last few months, the F-Pace has gone through a few changes. Yes, I've modified it, but not in the way you might think. Fiercely, after a few months of ownership, the rear plastic bumper became really annoying to look at. For whatever reason, even when new option up the black pack on the F-Pace as we did, the rear bumper remains unpainted, whilst the side skirts, sills and the front bumper are gloss black. This looks rather poo. It's almost as if the folks in the UK left it unpainted so they can paint it for the midlife update and make it look better. Well, too late. I got it done after market. The difference it makes to the visual presentation of the car from the back is remarkable, and at just $500, at a Jaguar Land Rover authorized body shop, it was the best return on investment I could make for visual appeal improvements. If you look around hard enough you will notice that F-Pace S models with the turbocharged petrol engine have the rear bumper painted gloss black and it looks epic, so that definitely served as an inspiration. Other than that, I would be lying if I said I don't regret the black wheels. I think they would look better silver, but I am in two minds about it still, some days I love it, some days I cover my face when I exit the vehicle. I also regret not optioning up the adaptive suspension. It's perfectly fine to ride around the CBD even on the optional 20-inch wheels, but get it out onto country roads as we do when we trek out towards the southern downs to visit family and it really doesn't cope with the big bumps all that well. It does, however, provide a level of dynamic competence that is utterly brilliant and we do enjoy driving it fast. What I would do now, if I could do it again is actually pick the 22-inch wheels and go for the adaptive suspension for that really big visual impact with better ride comfort. But clearly, that's just me, because our F-Pace has a ton of visual impact already, for it gets looked at and noticed wherever it goes. My wife has been quizzed about the car by strangers a dozen times and I too have been approached on multiple occasions. That's mainly because the F-Pace appears to be extremely rare, 